Hello friends and once again welcome to bhpsolution.com. My name is Amit and today we will be seeing first example of Profitability and Cost Management Cloud Service. This is an example for custom calculation salary adjustment rule. This is a fairly simple example where I'm going to show you how do you uh, adjust your salary due to the inflation rate and uh, in a subsequent example, we see more advanced cases. So let's get started. So we'll be doing this in two steps. Step number one, I'll be creating a salary adjustment rule and the salary adjustment due to the inflation rate of 10%. And then second step, you know, we test this salary adjustment rule. So let's get started. When you log into your uh, PCMCS cloud service, this is how you find your screen. Step one, I'm going to create my rule. So when you create a rule, it is very similar to the way you do it in planning or as space. You create a rule set first, uh, planning on cloud, and then you under the rule set, you create multiple rules. Okay. I'm going to create a new rule set. This I'm designing for the intersection of year 20, 2016, January actual. This is my point of view. I'm getting a rule set, name some rule set. I named this rule set compensation and salary adjustment. Define description, all compensation and salary adjustments. Rules given here, the sequence is one, it is enabled and it's going to be calculated in a serial execution fashion. You can alternate define a global context or rather than defining a context for individual rule, you can define rule for entire rule set. It's it's like a global variable. Okay. When you define a global context, define the intersection of your dimension. Like in my calculation, uh, I'm not going to use any activity, which is your business activity actually. So I like to define as no activity. All the rule set will follow this global context. This calculation is not for a specific customer. I define a context no customer, no product. This intersection not defined on any customer, product, or activity. Now, this global context we can inherit into a rule. So, under the rule set, I'm going to create a new rule. There are two, there can be two kinds of rule allocation and custom calculation. This is going to be a fairly simple custom calculation. Because in PCMCS behind the screen, it uses as space ASO cube. Therefore, the expression I'm going to write is very similar to MDS expression. Your rule name, I give a name called salary adjustment. Salary adjustment rule by 10% due to inflation alignment. We enable this rule and define a sequence here. Now target is your left side expression. Target your left side expression in write a rule and source is your right side expression, right? So what is your target? So the target you define left side expression, the entire rule is going to be calculated for the predefined dimension called balance. Balance is a system defined dimension PCMCS, which maintain the intermediate result. Like in my balance dimension member, there data will be input under input dimension and adjustment allocation will be taken place within a with respective dimension members okay so i'll be inputting number two input input uh, and uh, i'll be using result dimension as balance dimension now define your account and entity on the left side expression so the whatever global context we have given few minutes before they serve like a fixed expression, no customer, no product, no activity. They define a fixed expression. And we define a formula over here. For which account? This calculation to be taken place for an account. Uh, this is salary account, right? So what the salary account is, I believe, the regular salary. Let me open and check what the name of the account. I don't remember exactly name of the account. We can check over here. Or I can check over here. <coughs> change an alias so the salary adjustment 
it's part of my operating expenses personal expenses regular salary this is the name of the member so i keep it okay i need adjustment and input both not more than this regular input i don't know why it is coming twice let's delete the additional row optionally you can keep all the members under your regular dimension balance dimension member okay so this is regular salary you can display an alias name or actual name both of them this is going to be my target okay so then the left side expression it is intersection of adjustment in regular salary and this is an entity you could have done for any entity i've chosen this sample entity over here okay. so which accounts like account dimension member <coughs> this is a regular salary which entity so like anti dimension member uh, this entity is c100 this is basically corporate i want this because a smart view the one i prepare in order to in order to perform testing it is for corporate entity you know? therefore this is an entity which i can change it as an alias and check corporate entity so I've chosen our target. Let's see the formula. The formula is going to be, look at the left side expression. It's an intersection of adjustment, regular salary and entity. On the right side, it will take a salary and multiply by 15%, isn't, isn't it? So your source is intersection of rule and input. Okay, the system defined dimension. This is input intersection with rule right multiply by 10 percent isn't it and you can put this under basically it is causing a double isn't it the set and collection of set is going to be a double so let's define this under formula you can define formula over here so my formula is fairly straightforward it is going to be an adjustment on the left side right adjustment on the left side intersection with rule left side is your target source is the intersection rule and input okay validate the formula formula got validated save it check the rule context that's it the expression is ready okay now we're going to test it so in our test it is supposed to be knowing the rule number which is system defined dimension so there are two system defined dimension we have balance which to the intermediate result and the rule number right so which rule number system takes whichever rule number we had has taken last time increment by one that's one way you can track it or you can see it over here rule number is not assigned yet i can check the alternate way this is my last business rule a rule set in this rule set the last rule is r0021 21 so mine rule set would be 22 okay so i have taken over here i'll take rule set 22 refresh okay so rule set 22 i input value to the intersection of no rule and input data input will be taken place over here and when I run this rule, the output will be stored in adjustment in according to this formula, isn't it? So salary and component salary adjustment according to the formula, output will be stored to adjustment in, adjustment in, isn't it? With the intersection of no customer, no product and other, the point of view we have defined few minutes before. Now let's run the rule and test the output. So to run the rule, there are multiple ways. You can run the rule from here as well. Manage calculation. Select your rule set. I'm going to run individual rule. Select your rule set. Salary and compensation adjustment and rule. Salary adjustment run now. 
So if you're coming from planning or maybe older version of IP and EPMA, it used to create a job exactly in the same way. It also created a job over here on which you can track. All the activities are considered as a job. This is my job. The job get executed successfully. Then I check the output refresh and here's the output, which is 15%. See, so this was your expression. And this is your output. Let's put them together. Expression and output together. This is your formula and this is your output, right? It is your salary, it's adjusted by 15%. I've taken a constant over here and subsequent example, we take a variable. Okay, and the intersection, the rule context is, look at this, for no activity, no product, no customer, no driver, no customer, no driver, no activity, no product. Right? This is my intersection. Data input is always done with the intersection of input and no rule and output is render for the given rule and adjustment in. Yeah. So that's it for today. Uh, in a subsequent session, I'll be talking about more advanced example of allocation and custom formula. Thank you for watching today's video. Please visit our website bhsolutions.com.